piece missing here is we need to add another service called GitLab Runner images separate than the GitLab server, the GitLab server images, Docker, GitLab CE, and the runner images, GitLab runner. To minimize the download size and to speed up the download, we are using the Alpine version here, but if you guys are okay with the standard versions, you guys can just uh, skip the Alpine here. I'm giving the name GitLab runner to the container. So we will be using the Docker executor to run our pipelines and jobs. So if we go to our CI file, we can see that we are using a Docker image called Python Alpine. And then once that image is loaded and the script is run, we will be just checking which Python version we are using for this Docker image. So to run your pipelines and your jobs inside a Docker container, you need the Docker service or you need the Docker engine to be running inside your GitLab runner. So to use the GitLab Docker engine inside the GitLab runner, you need to mount your Docker socket file from your host machine to your container, which is the GitLab runner.